COVID cases are on the rise yet again. We've seen Great Falls Public Schools already go remote this week. Cascade School warning of a major increase in cases as well. MTN's Lindsay Stenger has more from the health department. I'm standing outside of the Alluvian Testing Center where employees have been swamped. An increase in testing and positive cases all this week. So we're having a lot of demand in our drive through. Tis the season for sickness. It is surprising to a degree, but we do expect to see an increase in respiratory illnesses in general this time of year. This is just a more significant magnitude. With an overload of illnesses mixed with the shortage of supplies and workers, officials are worried that Cascade County could be itching closer to an exhausted resource. Sometimes can lead to a little bit of a backlog in getting results out to people. We're seeing long wait times in the emergency departments, long wait times in our walk-ins and immediate cares um, and our providers are all doing their best, our nurses, everything. Alluvian and the City County Health Department are urging people to seek testing in designated areas in an attempt to traffic control in other medical facilities. Our healthcare systems are being overwhelmed just by the general everything. Uh, whether it's COVID positive individuals or individuals who have influenza or RSV or some other ailment or and then, then on top of that is the people who just have injuries or other medical conditions that might require them to go to the emergency department such as chest pains um, or anything like that. Starting last Friday, the testing demand began to climb and with it, so did the positivity rates. Towards Christmas, we were really hitting like about a 4%, 5% positivity rate or lower, meaning that of all the tests that we ran in a day, only 4 or 5% were positive. Um, now we're running tests that are probably 40%, 30 to 40% positivity rate. Health officials in Cascade County are asking, given the nature of the new variant, that if you do test positive, to reach out to those you have been around and encourage them to get tested as well. Um, we're all getting a tremendous number of positives, so we're all seeing the increased burden of reaching patients. I did call around to several pharmacies who have stated that they are selling out of their at-home testing at a very unexpected rate. In Great Falls, Lindsay Stinger, NTN News. Well, Montana's tribes are not letting their guard down against COVID as we've reported at least one tribe made changes just this week. MTN's Colder Anstead has more details. As COVID cases, including cases of the Omicron variant, rise nationwide. They wanted to go back to the phase two part. Blackfeet Tribe Public Information Officer James McNeely says changes have been made to keep tribal members safe. Monday, the tribe announced its intent to go back to phase two of the tribe's reopening plan, but then said the next day that won't happen. What happened was when phase two, when all of the phase plans were put together by the tribe, that was in 2020, and that's before the vaccines and the uh, and the testing and all that. So uh, we couldn't really go back to phase two, so we had to scale back. And when they retracted it, per se, they had to just make some changes and really based on the CDC guidelines, all they're saying is wear your mask and, and use hand sanitizers. As of Thursday, there were about 150 COVID cases on the reservation, some of them Omicron. We want to ensure that our language, our culture, our people, the Blackfeet people are is, is kept safe, especially our old people who are linked to our past. The Little Shell Tribe is also making every effort to protect tribal members. We have um, partnered with Alluvian Health and we're really watching, uh, you know, to get vaccinations to our members, but we're really watching, um, you know, any information that comes out. We're putting that information out to our members via social media. Um, we give uh, an update every day to our staff and to our tribal council. We also reached out to the Fort Peck, Fort Belknap and Rocky Boy reservations for an update on COVID there, but did not get a response. In Great Falls, Coulter Anstat, MTN News.